To make it short, depending on your live streaming needs, you might be able to use Restream for completely free. However, if you want to know if you are one of those people, here are what Restream is offering you and how much it costs. Hey, I'm Greeny, welcome to this video. As always, if you find this video helpful at any point, let me know in the comment sections below. And now let's just jump right into it and answer the question, is Restream really worth it? And how much do I have to pay for it? Restream for individuals like you and me comes in three different tiers. There's the free tier, the standard tier, and there is the professional tier. And who would have thought that the free tier actually is completely free. The standard and professional tier costs 16 and 41 dollars each month when paid annually. In the free tier, you will be able to live stream from your encoder like OBS or XSplit to over 30 different live streaming services at the same time. However, there is one small exception and that is Facebook public pages and Facebook groups. So if your plan is to live stream your gaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time, that's possible in the free tier and is completely free. You're welcome. Other than that, the free tier of Restream also allows you to use the Restream Live Studio, which basically is an OBS encoder in the cloud and allows you to invite up to six guests into your live stream to stream with you. Unfortunately, in the free tier, you will only be able to stream up to 720p and with a watermark in the live studio. But given its price of completely free, I guess we cannot really complain here, can we? In addition, the free tier also includes multi-chat functionality as well as analytics, just like in the paid tiers. In the standard tier, you of course can do all the good things from the free tier, but in the standard tier, you're also able to stream to the Facebook groups and Facebook public pages. In addition to that, you get one additional streaming destination, which means you're now able to stream to two accounts on the same streaming platform. For example, if you want to stream to two YouTube channels or two Twitch channels at the same time, you need to have the Restream standard tier. In addition to that, Restream also lets you record your live streams up to six hours per stream, which means as soon as your streams are done, you can download them in the best quality from Restream. In the Restream Live Studio, the standard tier allows you to invite up to 10 guests instead of the six guests from the free tier, but the rest is pretty much the same. Once more, if this video was helpful so far, let me know by smashing the like button and telling me in the comment sections below. All right, professional tier. The professional tier, of course, gives you all the great things from the standard and free tier. However, there are some extra features. You now get free extra destinations, which means you are now able to live stream to up to four accounts on the same platform whatever you want to do that, but that's possible with the pro version and your live stream recordings can be up to 10 hours per live stream, which is pretty much enough for almost all use cases I've seen so far. To get to the part where the professional plan really shines, we need to take a closer look at the Restream Live Studio. Not only do you have the ability to remove the watermarks, no, you also can live stream in full HD as well as create customized overlays and bring in your own video and graphics to show in the live stream. And finally, there is one small detail in the pro plan I really want to get your attention to real quick. And those are RTMP pull links. So RTMP pull links are basically links with your feed, which you would usually send to YouTube or Twitch or whatever platform you're streaming to. And with that link, you can use them as an input in a more complex production. For example, a production you're doing with OBS. This, by the way, is also how I convert my aspect ratio when I'm streaming to YouTube and Instagram at the same time. And those are the main differences between the Restream free, standard and professional tier. The part of Restream I myself like most is not the Restreaming thing. That thing is great, but the thing I really care most about is their online Restream Live Studio. And it is just so easy. Really, since Restream partnered with me and I have now access to the Restream professional license, I also have access to the Restream Live Studio, I 
I basically stopped using OBS. I'm just doing all my live streams in the live studio in the web browser just because it's so easy. And if I want to bring guests on, it's it's so much easier than it was before using OBS. So this is the part I love most about Restream. Also the fact that Restream allows you to basically use all of the functions for absolutely free is a reason why I was a Restream customer long before they reached out to me to partner up with me. But I'm glad they did because this means I can now offer you this special offer. If you use the link in the video description below to sign up for a Restream account, you will get a $10 Restream credit, which you then can use towards your first upgraded user account. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. I hope this video helped you to understand what tier of Restream you really need for your live streaming project. All right, click one of those videos and uh, I will see you in the next video or the next Restream live stream. So bye.